There once was a man born of a royal lineage. Though royal by birth, his life was without glory nor prestige. A boy left alone in the world, fighting and bleeding for survival. The bravest sword on the cruel battlefield, this crimson-haired warrior. of his lineage to fulfill his bloodline's obligation he who fights against his destiny through the power within him motivated by the past driven by bloody memories I've been looking all over for you. Where were you? You're late. You must hurry to the training ground. Uh-oh. Sir Buford looks a bit upset. We should hurry before he becomes even angry. Late yet again. I thought I once told you that time is as precious as gold. I have no choice but to report to the Duke if your tardiness continues. Since you are late, we'll begin training immediately. Are you ready? Mm. Then let's get started. Today, we will proceed with combat training. You'll learn how to use the sword against that scarecrow. Go and swing your blade. You've shown impeccable form. I can tell you put much work into it. There's more to wielding a sword than just swinging it. A lot more to it, in fact. Never forget that all knights make their oath with that sword. You decide your fate upon the blade, and bear the weight of your pledge. Now, sheath your sword and come to me. You are the direct descendant of the great hero, King Depardieu's eldest son, Archduke Lowen. You are in the line of succession to inherit House Decker, as well as the throne. That is why you must keep training. The status of a monarch isn't just given, it must also be earned. Do you understand? Now, next we'll... What? The Master, wait here. One of you, guard the young master. Everyone else, to battle positions. Damn it! What is this? There's Deckard's young master! Get him! Young master, run! We must move quickly! I'll 
I'll join the fight. Go now. My child, you're safe. Praise the gods. Forgive me. My lack of foresight almost cost you all. No, Sir Buford. It's fine. He's safe, and that's what matters. We must get away from here. This place is dangerous, my lord. Sir Buford, that isn't possible. Don't you understand? This must all be part of that tyrant's plan. Deckard Six is obsessed with the throne. He's imprisoning or killing all those with the right to secession. This won't end unless I die. I do not fear death. But this child, my innocent son, Sir Buford, I beg you, please protect my son. But, my lord... Please, Sir Buford, protect my child. I understand. By my own blood, I swear to protect him. My child, I love you. You must survive, no matter the cost. Time is running out. You must leave, Sir Buford. <sighs> Go now. Keep close to Sir Buford. I love you. Just a little further now. I will make a path. Follow me. Today, I'm finally going to taste the blood of the Red Wolf. Come! Ha! Huh. You won't get past me. The world was a merciless place for a boy left kinless, thus defenseless. Pursued by foes, days of fear ensued. And hunger followed him like a shadow. All he had for enduring the brutal winter was his warm breath on frozen hands. Amidst such agony, however, was the loyalty and love of the Elder Knight Buford. Buford's devotion and care, the 
boy grew into a man who forged his own destiny with a sword. Now, that adversity crosses his path again, for he shall conquer them all. to see you unscathed. I was pleased to hear that you did well at the Red Knight's bugbear raid, but you know I would never have approved of this excursion. I can see that these fetters are frustrating you. Come to think of it, it's already been a decade since we hid away on this remote island to escape our pursuers. Very well then, if you can manage to become an official knight, I'll be able to rest at ease, even if I give you free reign. Still, you must keep in mind that with freedom comes responsibility. Go visit Sir Valton. He can explain the appointment ceremony. We Red Knights have protected the Talking Isle for generations as proud royal knights. We have always upheld this duty, even through hard, dark times. When Prince Depardieu sought refuge here, for instance, or when Capricus was resurrected. It would have been an honor to appoint you as one of us. Unfortunately, we will have to postpone that for a while. Recently, the number of missing has grown at an alarming rate. Those on the search mission have also gone missing, including the head of the appointment ceremony. So, for now, I'd like you to join us on another search mission to find our members. Elisa, I will leave you in charge of this mission. The two of you can work together. I'm Alyssa. Let's cut to the chase, as we don't have much time. We'll investigate the North Island first, since that was where the members were last headed. Let's stock up on what we need first. This is a green potion. It's an essential item that makes you faster. Running out of green potions is a major inconvenience. Don't forget to buy them in advance from the general merchant. Come to think of it, I've heard your name before. You're famous for your audacious red hair. I also heard you can be quite reckless. Either way, I don't really care as long as you do your job. Just as you can't hide the sky with your hand alone, the same can be said about the truth. Ah, if it isn't the bugbear, Beheader, you've grown well, just like your red hair would suggest. Redheads have a way of overcoming hardships and paving a path of their own, just like the wise King Decker in the second, who overthrew the false king. Grandpa, stop saying weird things like that. Have you seen the missing knights by any chance? Hmm. Perhaps the island's whispers lured them into darkness. They wouldn't be the first on this isle. 
Many people disappeared 130 years ago, too. Back when the waters around the Talking Isle were called the Bloody Sea. Half of everyone alive on the Talking Isle disappeared. What happened to the rest, you ask? They all died, of course. Do you know why? It was because of the High Demon Capricus's resurrection. Legend has it that a demon lay dormant under the earth of the Talking Isle. We should just go. When Grandpa Alfred starts with one of his stories, he never stops talking. You know teleport magic, right? We should teleport to the North Island since it's far away. not right. I'm sure the North Island was never this dark. What on earth? There aren't supposed to be any undead on the North Island. Save me. Oh, it's the magician. I'm saved. Please, take me back to the village. Not so fast. Aren't you from the Red Knight Supply Division? What is going on here? Where did all these undead come from? Well, well, um, the dungeon door opened and the undead started pouring out. They kept rambling about, seeing villagers inside the dungeon. So they all headed there. But I saw nothing. Just get to the point already. Wait, why are all these silver weapons here? Did the other knights head into the dungeon without their weapons? What were you doing? Well, what does it matter? There's nothing I could have done anyway. I'm not strong enough to fend for myself. I would have died as soon as I got there. What's the point of anything if I die? There's nothing wrong with trying to survive. You can't blame me for grabbing a few things along the way. Ugh, not only are you untrustworthy, but you're also without a conscience. Hand over the silver weapons. We'll go save them ourselves. If anything has happened to the knights, you'd better be prepared to answer for it. Here, use this instead. It'll be much more effective against the undead. Follow me. I know the way to the dungeon. My god, this blood and these corpses. It's the missing villagers. Wait, I see footprints. Let's follow them. There was some truth in Boris's words. The dungeon door is already open. I've been here before when I took the Red Knight's entry test. I'll take the lead. Follow me in. This place looks just as I remember. Its atmosphere, however, is different now. This is the place Grandpa Alfred told us about. We'd better be careful. Please come over here for a minute. Take this magic doll. Don't let anyone know that I gave you one. 
broken magic dolls are supposed to be returned to the magician's lab. But, well, let's just say I wanted to satisfy my intellectual curiosity. I wasn't planning on giving you this, but since the Red Knight's safety is at stake, we need to do all we possibly can. Magic dolls have many functions. Hmm. Let's check how many of them still work. Thankfully, the hunt support function is still working. It's what matters most. This is cursed residue, occasionally left behind from monsters. You can get a deeper understanding of their true nature by studying their residue. Leaving it like this could be dangerous. We should take it back to the priestess as soon as we return to the village. supply function is working too. Great. These two functions are enough to be of help. I hope we can fix it later. Then we'll be able to use a lot more features. Let's head down. This seems to be a very old book. Let's take a look. Finally, he has answered our call. We shall become one with the truth as we offer our flesh, soul, and this whole island. Since he will need a strong vessel to hold his body, we tore apart the bodies of 90 young adults as sacrifice. Since great energy is required to open the door through which he shall enter, we sacrifice the souls of nine established magicians. Since he will need fresh and vibrant life to descend by our side, I offer my ewe lamb, the heart of my own child. We call for you, great demon. Come to us. How repulsive. Perhaps it's about Capricus? Legend has it that magicians once summoned a demon with that name. Although I don't really believe in those tales. Wait, there's something more. Conceited beings believe everything ended once he was sealed. The path.
path shall not close once it is opened. He is still here with us. So long as death exists, he shall continue to return. The words are written in blood. Ugh, also not written long ago, judging from the fact that the blood's still fresh. That means there are still people around who worship the demon. If this is true, I wonder if the legend of Capricus could repeat itself. <coughs> Did you hear that? This way, quickly! Please stop! Why are you... Villagers. What? Why would they hurt Selena? I don't understand what's going on. One thing's for certain. We have to save her. This cursed undead. Something isn't right. Normally, there'd never be this many. We have to hurry. I'm worried sick about Selena. Wait. The dungeon is supposed to be off limits from the second floor. We don't know what danger lies ahead of us. Let's use some protective magic before we head inside. of a goat and body of a human. It's the high demon of pleasure and death, Capricus. If the legend is true, this is where they summoned Capricus. You have walked into your own demise. Guilt eats away at your soul. I wonder, does yours weigh more than your parents? You may act strong, but branded fear is indelible. Struggle all you can to deny the darkness and flee from me in vain. Your despair when you finally give in to death will be my greatest pleasure and joy. I look forward to the day you come into my grasp. What in the world? Where have all those people come from? The dungeon's second floor is supposed to be off-limits. These people aren't normal. They've lost their minds. We have to go deeper inside. We can't waste any more time here. We 
here, getting closer to her voice. That way. Save me. It's the missing knights, and their stomachs, they've been completely gutted. Since ancient times, intestines have been used as a medium for evil rituals and black magic. The demon again? Could it be? No, I've got to snap out of it. Let's go and save the others. It's the missing knights, and their stomachs, they've been completely gutted. Since ancient times, the demon again. No, I've got to snap out of it. Let's go and save the others. to the village. Thank you, Alyssa. I'm so glad you're not hurt, and I'm so grateful. Please be careful. An oath sworn by water dries up and disappears. Did you hear that voice? Huh. The phrase sounds familiar. 